Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Marina Gaseva and Elizaveta Solozhenkina. This is a game from the Russian Higher League Women Championship 2021. Gaseva had white pieces and he started with d4. Solozhenkina played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, b6, going for the queen's Indian defense, a3, controlling b4 square, bishop to b7, knight to c3, d5, c takes on d5, knight takes pawn on d5, queen to c2, knight takes on c3. This move is played by players like Kramnik, Anand and Ivanchuk. B takes on c3, black to move, c5, bishop to e7 and knight to d7, were the three most played moves. c5 was played attacking the white center, white to move. The two most played moves in this position are e3 and e4. Gasla played e4. This is a more adventurous choice. Knight to d7, bishop to f4, rook to c8. Very logical move. Placing the rook on the same file with the white queen. But Gaseva responded with a logical move of her own. Keeping the file closed. But is she going to lose a pawn? That is the question. Instead of winning a free pawn, c4 was split let's take it back what's wrong with e takes on d5 then e takes on d5 bishop takes on d5 and what is wrong with this variation one line goes like this and that is why player with the black pieces didn't want to win that pawn black is in trouble one line goes like this bishop takes on f3 g takes on f3, c4, rook to e1 check, bishop to e7, bishop to d6, and white wins. Back to our game. That is why Solozhenkina played c4. d takes on e6, f takes on e6. Rook to d1, pinning the knight. Black to move. Queen to f6 was played. Well, player with the black pieces would like to develop the bishop and castle. If bishop to e7, then knight to e5 is unpleasant. And what else? If bishop takes on a3, then a queen to a4. White stands much better in this variation too. Back to our game. So Jankina played the queen to f6, attacking the bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this awesome exchange sacrifice? Rook takes knight. Kaboom. King takes rook. What else? And now bishop to g5. Attacking the queen. Black to move. Bishop takes on e4 was played. How about finding a safe spot for the black queen? Like queen to f7. What's wrong with this move? Well, this move has a tiny, tiny downside and that is... Knight to e5 check and white wins the black queen. Back to our game. That is why Solozhenkina played Bishop takes pawn on e4. Queen for queen, maybe. White to move, how would you continue now? Gaseva simply gave check, removing the target. Bishop to d6, bishop takes queen. Pawn takes bishop. Bishop to e2. King to e7. White to move, no rush with the attack on the black king. The king's safety first, activating the rook too. e5. White perhaps must find a way to the black king. How would you continue? There is more than one way. 
Castellan played knight to d2, attacking the bishop, bishop to d5, bishop to g4, attacking the rook, rook to c7, knight to f3, bishop to e4, knight to h4, rook to d8, knight to f5, check, bishop takes knight, and then bishop takes bishop, and black will now have a problem on the light squares. Bishop takes pawn, a discovered attack on the queen, but queen wanted to go to h5 anyway. Rook to f8. If rook goes to h8, then queen to h6. Rook to f8. Queen takes pawn on h7. Rook to f7. White played the move and black resigned and the move is queen to g8. Play with the black pieces, solution can I resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Perhaps a5. Then rook to d1, threatening checkmate on d8. Bishop to d6. Bishop to g6, attacking the rook. And what now? If the king goes to e6, then bishop takes on f7, check. Rook takes bishop. Rook takes bishop on d6, check. King takes rook. Queen takes rook. And I guess we can stop here. That was a beautifully played game by Marina Gaseva, the winner of the tournament. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.